knows about these things. But at the Hotel Metropole in Brighton, they'd say that the tag made in Britain still represents the best in the world. The Brighton Toy Fair is presented by British toy manufacturers for home and foreign buyers. As you can see, you're never too old. But the major problem on the toy battlefront will be how to fill the avalanche of orders from all quarters, here and overseas. Orders are double or treble those taken last year following a similar upsurge at Harrogate Toy Fair. It could be the superior quality of the toys, but they say that inflation, which is blamed for so many things these days, is also responsible for the buying spree. Some prices have doubled, and the fear is that they'll rise even more. But foreign buyers find them cheap, with the continuing devaluation of the pound, exports boom, and British toys no longer fear competition from the traditionally cheaper toys of Hong Kong and Japan. Children don't care, of course. Whoever heard of children questioning the price? But they might ask questions if manufacturers had to ration the children at home in order to supply children abroad. Some critics say the fair lacks new ideas, but others are pleasantly surprised at the superiority of our toys over other European displays. In the meantime, the selling boom continues, and even the adults aren't worrying much about the price. In this era of inflation, the cry seems to be toys at any price. For who knows what tomorrow may not bring. Time was when Londoners thought of bank holidays, they automatically